Hi guys, uh, back with the old 300E Merc. I noticed that we've been using a little bit of oil lately and uh, this is a worry. It could be valve stem rubbers, it could be the valve stems themselves, it could be a head job. Uh, I don't really feel like doing that, but the first thing I did was uh, check under the car for oil leaks and I noticed on our oil level sensor or low oil level sensor it was leaking and uh, other than mucking around um, just changing a rubber I thought that it's only cheap anyway $26 or something I'll change the sensor and so first things first uh, we'll fix this little oil leak and uh, hopefully that fixes the problem if not uh, it might be a head job on the car I hope not. The first thing we're going to do is uh, remove this uh, plastic cover under the engine here. Um, I suppose it's for gathering oil or dirt or something or maybe to ha help with aerodynamics. Anyway it only has six 8mm bolts holding it on. There's my little socket. 8mm, there's one there. One down the, the back there. Right up there and one up the front somewhere there it is there and anyway we just undo those half dozen screws and we'll drop this skirt plastic skirt thing down and there's the plastic skirt thing off the car and it's sort of nice and clean the reason is because when I checked for the oil leaks originally I uh, uh, washed it all off with some uh, turps and that it was absolutely covered in dirt and grease and muck and it probably hadn't been off for years and you, you can see there's a little bit of a oil patch there and that's from the uh, sensor I'm going to chain well there's a there's your sensor in here for your low oil and it's on the sump it's just a plug one wire plug lead just unplug that it's got a little bit of a oil leak but uh, nothing really major but anyway any oil leak is one too many before I do anything I've got to drain 1.1 litre of oil out of the sump and what I'm going to do is get a 13 mil socket take out the sump plug and uh, in my case I've got a nice clean container which it happens to be 1.1 litres and because uh, I'm going to put the oil back in the engine it's good oil, there's nothing wrong with it so I'll do that now at this stage I've unplugged the thing there there's a 10mm bolt there and there's a 10mm bolt over there that's a 10mm socket that is and we're just going to take uh, the uh, sensor out and I've put a bit of a drip tray underneath just in case it's still got uh, oil to come out. New sensor and I'm just going to put this 40mm o-ring in around there it sits in a groove and whack it on. I pulled the old one off uh, there was oil there coming out and it's still running into a tray now so I might as well save what I can and put this one on in its place. Well there's a new one on. I've got a feeling uh, that this is not really my problem the, uh, but I won't know until I take the car for a run and uh, preferably a long run and see if we use any oil or not. The next show might be all about uh, changing valve stem rubbers or worse the whole head job but the car's not lost any power or anything like that so we shall see